Hi, and welcome. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Marcelo Bonta. I am the founder and executive director for the Center for Diversity and the Environment. Well, we are so excited to have you here at AC 2014. Can you tell us what brought you to this conference? I was invited to be a keynote speaker, and I was very excited about the opportunity to speak to over 2,000 people about my message of working on diversity, equity, inclusion, and the sustainability movement. Um, if you think about the definition of sustainability and, and my definition of bringing together the environment, the economy, and equity, the people piece, as a sustainability movement, we've been so great about the environmental pieces and the accomplishments that we've made. Uh, you could arguably say we've been pretty good at the economy piece, but what's always left out of, in my experience has been the equity piece. So I feel there needs to be a stronger, uh, stronger efforts and a stronger voice around equity. And I hope uh, the opportunity that I had to speak with the over 2,000 participants uh, allowed them to open their mind and, their, and, and themselves to what are the possibilities when we become a more diverse, equitable, inclusive movement, which then will lead us to be a more successful movement. Now tell me, what kind of feedback did you get after your keynote address finished? We, um, I had a lot of wonderful feedback of people really uh, emotionally connected to what I had to say. And so people are excited and, and, are, and are really amped up to, to start moving diversity, equity, inclusion work in their sphere of influence. And that was the whole hope of, of the talk. That's great. Now let's take a step back. Tell me how you got involved in sustainability and what excited you about, you know, what so many people call a buzzword. Mm -hmm. um, well, let's take a step back even further about, you know, I, I got connected to the environment as a, as a young child, uh, really engaged and connected to wildlife. Uh, I was one of those kids that loved staring at squirrels, uh, staring at birds, lifting rocks up and just staring at the ants and the, the pill bugs and the roly polies. Um, could have been seen as the weird kid. Uh, but I also, it, it was something that really meant a lot to me. And ever since I was young, I uh, had this innate connection to nature and wildlife. And it ended up being a career for me. So I worked in a national uh, conservation organization in the early 2000s. And th that's where I started getting exposed of the real need to work on diversity, equity, inclusion, especially connecting to communities of color who many are engaging in sustainability in many of their own ways, uh, from, from driving less to taking public transportation to uh, just being res more resourceful with what they have. Uh, I found that many communities of color are doing the work, but there's a disconnect between the sustainability movement and, and communities of color. And so a lot of the work that, that I do, especially with the organization I started in 2008 called the Center for Diversity and the Environment, Attention, is please. to start Attention, unifying and connecting and foremost, the sustainability the community and the communities of color. Well, if you have any advice for any of some of the students at AC 2014 Conference and Expo and, you know, those who are getting ready to enter the job force and really want to um, pursue a career in sustainability, what would you say to them? You know, I would say um, as you enter the space, really have a clear definition of what sustainability is to you. Um, I would say if it's, if, if it's because of the environmental piece, be clear with yourself that you want to connect with, the envir with environmentalism. I think sustainability, again, if we come back to the definition of sustainability or my definition of protecting the environment, our economy, and equity, protecting our people, um, that it's really, really important for all folks, especially young people coming into the movement, to understand and engage and really figure out what that equity piece is. What does that mean to them and how can it be incorporated really effectively into the work that they do? Excellent. And I always tell everyone, find a mentor. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, mentor would be very important as well. Great. And I'm putting you on the spot here, but sure. will we see you next year for Aishi's 10-year anniversary in Minneapolis, Minnesota? Um, I don't know yet, but I'd love to be a part of it again. And so let's look into the possibility. Great. Yeah.